Hey, Leo Kino here and today we're going to create this. to be more of an overview rather than tutorial and it's going to be short if you want a more extensive tutorial on how to create a massive metropolitan city you can just go ahead and look for video copilots metropolitan video it's more longer and it's more extensive okay let's start first is we're going to create a new comp we are going to use 1280 by 720 the reason why I'm using the lower version of HD is that my computer is not that powerful enough to use this pack FPS will be 24 and about 1 minute. Create a solid, go to layer, new, solid, name this E3D or element 3D. Then press control plus spacebar and type element. Then click on it or you can just use the effect and presets bar if you don't have the effects console plugin. Next is click on scene setup and we are going to add several buildings on the scene. Go to Metropolitan and I'll be choosing this no antennas because of its low polygon count. The higher the polygons, the harder for low-end machines like mine to process. I will be choosing random buildings. As you can see, all of these are in a single folder. We are going to separate them with their own folder. By doing that, all the buildings that we have chosen will appear on that scene. Let's drag them outside the folder all at once. Shift then click. Then after that, just delete this folder. Second is we're going to place them into two groups. You can do this by clicking the group number while pressing shift. Shift then click. Then press OK to go back to the main scene. Create a camera, layer, new camera then OK. Let's go back to the element layer. Go to particle count and type any value you want. Let's type 300. Then on a replicator shape, change this to plane. And on the shape scale, just drag it until you're comfortable on the look of the city. Just play around the camera position. Press C to change the position of the camera angle. Then play around with the shape scale. Okay, then we're going to group 2, but before that, let's copy all the settings in group 1 before proceeding to group 2. Go to group utilities, then press on copy. Go to group 2, then paste the settings of group 1. Okay, next is let's lessen the particle count to 30. Then go to particle look, then particle size. Let's make some of the buildings much bigger. Then on the inception technique, go to group 1. Particle look, then particle rotation. Create a keyframe, then try messing up the values. Then go to rotation random. Try also experimenting on the values. Don't forget to easy ease your keyframes. Okay, let's test it. The only issues I'm seeing with Element 3D is that it doesn't have any collision detection. All of the buildings go through to each other, but maybe in the future version. Last thing is the title. Press this and choose a font. I'll be choosing Poppins because of its thickness. Type in wala lang. By the way, to my non-Filipino friends out there, wala lang means nothing. Let's align this in the center. Okay, go to E3D, then go to Custom Layers, Custom Text, and Mask. Path Layer, then Wala Lang, 
Then go to Scene Setup. Press Extrude. Place this in Group 3. Choose a cool presets, then press OK. Go to Group 3, Particle Replicator, then Position Y and make some adjustments. Create a keyframe, press F9 for easy ease. Go to Particle Look, Particle Size, then Adjust the Size. Next is we're going to animate Camera Position. Camera, let's create a keyframe to point of interest and position. Let's test it. Then after you've done everything, add some background image and thunderstorms and sound effects. As for the guy in the window, I choose a window on one of the buildings. Zoom in and then I 3D track it and added a clip. You can just check on the source file to learn more. Okay, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're a first time viewer, click on the bell to let you know if there's a new video comes out. Give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Sign out.